We're live. Hi, I'm Pamela Hunter, and this morning I you saw me in the raw as I got out of bed. Tonight I'm going to show you ways that I get ready for bed. And a lot of people, when they're thinking about relaxing for a restful night, they will relax for a long period of time, or they'll come home from work and they'll crash on the couch and think that that is preparing them for bed, and then they wonder why they get up in the middle of the night. It's actually, the rule of thumb is that if you move before bed, you will relax deeper. So we just went on a little walk around the block. Um, at home, I often do standing yoga postures on the yoga mat before bed, or do um, up and down the steps a few times, things like that, to get the body active. And then I want to bring the body into calm. And so the two oils I'm going to share tonight, I don't have Tranquility Roll-On with me, but these two oils, Lavender and uh, Palo Santo, are two of my favorites for a comfortable night of rest. I also like frankincense all day long applying it that will help you rest at night. So I'm going to put my lavender on, and I'm going to take my lavender down the back of my neck, and down my front, and then down my legs. Mm. And then I'm going to take my Palo Santo, let it drop in. Take it, and same thing, behind the neck. And I'm going to put a little under the nose and breathe it in. It has a very special scent. Palo Santo makes me feel holy like holy, healthy, and happy. It's from the holy wood that we take when the tree is dead, not until the tree is dead and laying on its side and we take the bark and, and make the oil from the bark. And then after you walk or after your movement, I like to come into either legs on a chair. I like no pillow, but if you have your head and it's up like this, you see this? Then I want you to slide something under your head so that it's nice and level. I'm going to go without a pillow. But I see how I'm at a right angle. If this is too much pressure on your back, you can wiggle away so until you find your comfortable spot. And you can put something weighted on your legs too that will help you drop in to your hips. But when I'm here, I like to let the mind go from the day. And this is very um, simple yet effective way to let the mind go. So first I find my breath and I observe where the breath is. And I watch the rise and fall of the belly. So as I inhale, my belly rises. And as I exhale, my belly falls. Allow myself to get into that nice rhythm. And then just touch your fingers to your thumbs and then open up. Touch your next finger and thumb. Good. And then ring finger and thumb and open. And your pinky finger and thumb and open. You can go at any pace here, just keep going.
any of your mind starts to wander, you can do peace, joy, light, love. When my son was little and he would wake up in the middle of the night with night terrors, I would sit in his room and do sa, ta, na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma with my fingers, sa, ta, na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma, and eventually he would join me and he would come out of the night terror. So it's very powerful but simple and easy. Now to come out of this, just roll over bringing your knees in any amount. You may not be able to move as much as I do, but come out any amount, roll over to the side, all the way. You can make a pillow with your hand or your arm all the way up, whichever feels good for you. Take that hand and top and lengthen that against the earth to lift yourself up slowly, 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 letting your head and neck be the last to come up and be ready for bed. Now I want to show you one more thing. And then we'll answer some questions. Okay. One more thing. Legs on the chair or sofa or ottoman or bed or whatever works great. But if you want to go a little further and get a little bit more circulation and lymphatics movement, you can go against a wall. So to do that, you come. Now listen closely. You want your buns as close to the wall as possible when you start and make a line with your hands. I make this look easy. You're going to laugh and giggle as you try to do this. <laughs> but I make this look pretty easy. You come through and you're lined up in a straight place with your buns against the wall. And then you come right up and your buns are really close to the wall and your legs are supported. And this if you have any swelling, anything going on in the legs, it just allows that circulatory system to work here. And you can lay here just like you did before. You can do your peace, joy, light, love fingers if you'd like, or just don't worry about any sounds with it, just move with it. So sometimes I fall asleep like this. I also do this when I travel. As soon as I get somewhere, I go legs up the wall to let my ankles and everything move. You can point and flex like we did this morning, wiggle the toes, roll the ankles, whatever works for you. But it's really nice to let oh, gravity pull this circulation up towards the heart. So this is a beginning inversion. You're upside down without being standing on your head. And to come out the same way, roll over to the side, keep rolling, and lifting yourself up very gracefully. Okay. I'm ready for bed. It's very relaxing. Although, I want to answer your questions. So what questions do we have, Melody? Uh, one question was, what if you can't get on the floor? On the bed. Do it on the bed. Same thing. And you can elevate. Let's do that. Can I have that pillow behind your back? So if you're on your bed and someone can help you with pillows or you have a bunch of pillows, you can be laying on your bed, grab your pillows, and have your legs here. Okay? These are a little mushy, but some of our pillows, and I'm a little close to them. So I didn't know where my head would be. But you can have your, your body on pillows there, your legs. Any elevation is good, right? Mm -hmm. And anything to take the pressure off the lower back, okay? Any other questions? One question was when you were doing this. Yes. Does that really help? Yes, absolutely. Focuses the mind, touching the pads of the fingers and the thumb. Let's not forget the power of touch and the simplicity. I think so many times we want to make things so difficult and if we don't feel the burn or if we don't feel the action we think it's not worthy and that is not true the most simplest of movements and now my friends I've worked in hospice with this I've worked in hospitals with cancer patients with MS with Parkinson's with uh, spine spinal stenosis all different ailments with this, these movements 
and they are so soothing to the mind, the body, and the spirit. And let's not think that we're getting, it's not a hand exercise. It is a mind and body connection movement. Okay. Um, somebody asked what oils you use for this? For, well, for bedtime, for a, for a night, good night's sleep, I used lavender and um, Palo Santo. But when I'm speaking about these movements and things, they're pretty separate. You could use any of the oils. The oils are just an added bonus there. They're not a necessity. You know, I think they're a necessity, but you may not. Somebody asked, does essential oil make you sleepy? It can. Different ones have different properties, and they can support you in a calming and soothing and relaxation way. And some give you energy. Yeah, exactly. Um, there's another long question. Do you recommend something besides pan away for joint pain? My knees and bones, my knees are bone on bone, and per doctor's recommendation, they have to wait until I'm older for knee replacement. You know what? I cannot answer that question. I um, am not a doctor or a nurse, but I would say that there are lots of options to um, make you feel good and bring energy to areas and bring um, so many of the oils are so great on the skin and on the body. So keep trying different ones and you will find the one that works for you. There's lots of options. Okay, and someone's asking, how can one relax and relieve shoulder tension? Yeah, same thing. It, I just showed you. I just showed you a great way to get your body to calm. So many of us hold on to our um, daily activities all through the night, and we don't take time to debrief and to just be. And when you get yourself into a relaxed state, just coming into that being, then you that's that's the practice. And Jessica's asking, what can I use for my five-year-old son who's hyper? <laughs> Movement before bed and then working on exactly what I did even with kids. I taught kids for 12 years and my kids, we would have a regimen that we would do every night. And I would hold their feet. I would apply. Um, They're asking you to speak up. I would, I would hold their feet and I would um, have a ritual of applying essential oils for comfort and support and speak to them about their day and debrief their day. But I would let them get active first. So many times parents want kids just to, okay, time for bed, relax. When you tell someone to relax, they don't necessarily want to relax. So let them do what they want to do and get active and then have some ways that you can soothe them and support them into um, some more calm, chaos to the calm kind of thing. So you want to let them get silly and wild in movement and then bring them into calm through a ritual that you create that maybe they put um, essential oils on your feet and you put essential oils on theirs. You know, maybe you both sit and talk about your fingers and how it feels to touch your fingers. Believe me, these tools work as I use them with my own children in my own life. Do you have any recommendations for late night snacking? Ah, late night snacking, don't choose to do so. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> with late night snacking, um, I have not done so here, but in my normal life, I do not eat after 8 p.m. So I only allow myself to drink water. And what I'm going to tell you is those are choices. That's a choice. You may think you don't have that choice. You may think you don't have that ability. But if you learn skills to start quiet, quieting the monkey mind inside of you, those choices become easier and easier. There's absolutely no reason to late night snack. Okay. And then can you tell them how they can get a deal on the essential oils? Absolutely. So... Um, Melody, is who's holding the camera right now, is offering a special during the month of October, the rest of this month. She is giving 10% off the starter kit plus pre free shipping and a special gift that will help you learn about the oils. So when you 
um, decide to jump into essential oils on Melody Lane's um, oil community, her lifestyle is we're calling it, the Melody Lane lifestyle, you can go to funlovin, L-O-V-I-N, oils.com forward slash Melody dash Lane, which we'll put in, I think it's already there, in the um, description of this YouTube video, and she can hook you up with some specials. And we're doing a challenge with Ninja Red three months, and that's $71 for two bottles plus tax. But the shipping, if you order those all together, the shipping is paid for by Melody. So those are great deals. You put your information in the form on that page, and we will hook you up, and we will support you in the Melody Lane Lifestyle page. And we will do things like this. <laughs> and we will have Zoom calls and personal calls. And if you do have personal questions that you want to talk to me personally, the number to call is 888-522-1927. Um, Vicki's asking, I drink tea at night. Will that help keep you up? No, Herbal tea. it depends on the tea. I love chamomile tea at night. I love sleepy time tea. There's some that are um, good night's rest tea, those kinds of things. Just stay away from your mints. Stay away from the minty teas at night because those are more alert and active and your citrus teas are more alert um, and bring um, more energy to the body um, to give you inspiration. So stick to your chamomiles and your herbals that are soft and soothing. They even have lavender tea. So stick to that. All right. I think that's it with the questions. Thank you so much. Thanks, everyone. Oh, and you can follow Pamela at youtube.com slash Pamela Hunter. <laughs> and I will put that link below. Yep. Uh, wait, we have a few more questions. Melody, are you going to be selling these or is this all going through Pamela? No, I'm selling these. When you go through that link that she was talking about, you're buying them under me. And I am under Pamela. It's our way of helping people. It's our way of, you know, Melody has been seeing so many of you for so long and she knows and hears the things that you're going through. And this is a way to support you in, a, in another way because crafting is relaxing and calming and soothing as well and supportive to all of you. This is just another way to do so. And I've been calling these bottles, little bottles of love for a really long time. And Melody started calling them today little bottles of magic because she's like, I can't believe how much I feel that. And we put cypress on her legs today and she was like, my legs are feel totally different. So. And I want you guys to know, uh, I was interested in these essential oils for scents and things and like that. And so uh, I knew she was into them. So she was teaching me about them. And I told her I wasn't going to share with you guys unless I really loved them. Mm-hmm. I wasn't even going to share them anywhere. I was just going to buy them for myself and, you know, leave it at that. But I love these. <laughs> I was shocked at, I, it really is like magic. Yeah. There's no other word for it for me. I just, they're just magic to me. I just really wanted them for the sense to have clean air and things like that. But I am just, I have learned so much through Pamela and she's helping and so us all I, learn. And she's, I'm doing these videos. Guys, one of my favorite words along this 20 year journey that I've been on has been weird. That is so weird. Look up what weird means and it means magical. So when somebody calls me weird, I'm like, yes, I'm weird. I'm magical. <laughs> and that's what I love every time I hear her say these oils are magical. They're a little weird. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit crazy that they something so little and something so simple and something so yummy smelling can work so good. But yeah, they can. They're really nice. And so I combine them with my movement and with my lifestyle. And so you'll hear me talking yoga. But when I talk about yoga, that's yoga. Move, just doing this. I would much rather do yoga, yoga than exercise. That's right. I don't like exercise, but this seems easy. Yeah. So my type of yoga, I do a lot of chair yoga that I'll be sharing with you guys. I do a lot of floor stuff. I do a lot just at my desk, pushing the chair away. Um, when I'm at my desk working for hours and you guys are at your crafting tables working for hours, I will slide away and I'll put on 
excuse me, YouTube Live, and let's do some movement together. We had a few questions. They're saying that the link's not there. As soon as we're done, I promise I'm going over to my desk <laughs> and I'll put the link in there so you'll be able to find it. And if you can't find it, come back to this video and comment below and I will personally give you the link. Uh, Stacy asks, I am not in the group because they don't have that anyway. Oh, yeah. It asks for a member password. No, that's gone now. I took that off. Okay. Yeah, that That's was confusing, what... and we took that off. So it's if you went in the first the... day and you were looking at it, it said password for Melody Lane account. And what that meant was a password that you wanted us to put on your Young Living account. But it was so confusing that we took that off. Or she's le she's I think she's clicking on the password for my group. Oh, maybe. I think because that link is in the description right now. I don't know where. Because that's in all of them. So, so we'll no, we're, we're going to give you another them. link. Yeah, you don't gonna... have to join the Facebook group. No. No. Because you're going to get, uh, we're, all, everything we do, we're also doing um, on YouTube as well. I would I would say a lot of it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you ever need help, you can always comment and we can always call you or talk to you and yep. help you well, out. And once you order the oils, you're in my oil family. So we see you and we have your contact information and we make sure we call you and we might send you notes. We might send you handmade cards. You never know. <laughs> we send you things and we make sure you're educated and stay with you as long as you stay with us. You know, it's a, it becomes a lot of people to keep track of. And so the more you reach our way, we're right there with you all the way. We stay. We stay with you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night. Now go lay in bed and do the little yoga moves. Yes. Bye. Bye.